The honeybee is one of God's creations that everyone seems to be curious about. And rightfully so when you consider how small they are, you know, how hard they work, sometimes their contribution like to mankind, to them, and most of all, their short lifespan. They never sleep, so they only last for six weeks in, in the summertime. My dad does bees, I do bees. My kids will probably do bees, I'm sure. Jonathan Steele of Silverline Bees comes from a family of bee farmers. Today he's making more room in a community of hives for thousands of female worker bees busy making honey. Basically what we're doing is knocking these down a little bit so they don't swarm. Because the bees have a tendency to swarm this time of year. Swarm, take some of your honey away and take you know a bunch of your bees away. What I'm doing is just going in and pulling some basically three frames of brood out of the center to give it some room for the queen to lay some more. Because once that queen, this time of year when the queen gets, when, she, when it gets in there to nowhere to lay, nowhere to put any honey, then what happens is that's when they have a tendency to swarm. So the two main functions of these bees are? Well, collect honey and pollinate, pollinate crops. Bees pollinate 30 billion a year in crops. And the average bee produces only one twelfth of a teaspoon of honey in her lifetime. Steele says 100,000 bees in a box can fill it with honey in two days. Honey harvest usually takes place from June to August. Beekeepers will use smoke to calm the bees while working them. If they buzz you, never swat at them, they say. But if they get in your helmet, game on. Oh, I'm getting Don't swat. God. I lost. For the Voice of Idaho Agriculture, I'm Steve Ritter.